Hey guys, so I received a commission to make some thank you biscuits for a preschool and I only had a few cutters to hand. Now there are some awesome cutters on Etsy specifically that you can get to make really beautiful cookie cutters but I didn't want to keep purchasing more tools to make something that I knew I could do with the ones that I already had in my kitchen. So I'm going to show you the process at which I use to go through and make some really cute cookies to gift to people just using some really simple cutters and a little bit of imagination. Now what I like to do is I like to look at the theme of the biscuits that I'm doing and go through my cutters and take out the ones that I think kind of suit that theme and then put them together and work out a little combination. And I settled on a heart, a teddy bear and a little butterfly and thought we'll go with some pastel colours. So I mixed up pastel colours into a marble effect, rolled this out and then cut the heart out of my fondant. And then I can just stick these with a little bit of water down onto my biscuits. And then I took the little stitching rolling tool and thought I'd do this kind of stitch work around the edge of the heart to give it a softer look. Now this is for a little girl, she's only two and a half years old and this is being gifted to her nursery as she goes up a year in preschool. So these need to be really cute and really feminine as that's the theme. So with the teddy bear biscuits, this was where the challenge really was setting in because I only had this teddy bear cutter, but it looks pretty simple. And I was like, how do I add some shape, make this really sweet and just give this teddy bear some character. So I've gone in with a really pale brown. We'll cut this out and then I'll show you how I've added a few little details using very simple cutters that I already have to hand. So for example, I use the petal cutter set that I have, a little bit of hand molding, and I use some heart cutters. This is really just showing you that you don't need to buy lots of different expensive tools and embossers to get a really good cookie or design with anything when you're baking. Use what you have, be imaginative and be creative. And what's fantastic about this is you will end up with a product that no one else has and is really unique to you. So while my fondant is still soft, I'm going to start making little impressions with my fingering tools to figure out where I want things to be. So I know that I want the nose there and the two little eyes to be indented just above the nose, keeping them quite close together because I give, it gives it like a really cute look. And then I'm just taking my knife and just making like a little stitching effect to again just add more detail and give these teddies more character. So where the paws would be in the feet, I'm going to cut that fondant out using a heart shape cutter and then replace it with marbled hearts. So you can see now, this is how I'm working those cookies together. I already have my big heart cookie in a marble design, so I want the teddy bear's paws to be pastel coloured marble as well. It's all about just finding little features to tie all your cookies in and make them look like they're one set. I do a little indentation again in the top where the ears are, and then this is where we're gonna add that little button at the front that will be its little nose or snout. I don't know what you call that part of a teddy bear. <laughs> and again, I just decided to go in with a tiny heart and add that, so that was the nose, and I've done that in a pale blue. And then using petal cutters, I've cut out the paws, and we're just adding these at the side of the bear. This definitely needs a pop of color, so I'm gonna go in and add some little flowers as well, and I'll probably add those flowers also to the big hearts, again, so that it all looks like it's one piece and gives it a really feminine look. But I was super happy with how these turned out. I mean, I really had a very rough sketch of a plan, um, and then when it all came together, it was perfect. It was just what I had in mind. I made up a tiny butterfly as well to go in the set just in a pastel yellow and I just added some little dragées or edible pearls down the center and you can see with the teddy bear I added a little kind of fuchsia color rose I just used a little flower mold for this and then I used a little leaf mold to add the leaf on the end and then I matched the big heart biscuit so that they had the same design again tying it all together to make these really personal I'm just piping on names onto each of the biscuit for who they're gifted to, just using some soft royal icing in a very pale yellow colour. I did toy with painting um, the writing in edible gold after, but actually once I'd finished it all I was really happy with how it looked and I thought the gold might be a bit too much, so I'm going to keep these really simple as they are. I find it so therapeutic piping onto biscuits.
I don't think I'm the best piper out there, but I think with practice you do get a lot better. I, it's just not something that I do a lot at the moment. I used to pipe onto cakes a lot more than I do now, but I definitely want to, you know, kind of pick up on my piping skills because I find it really enjoyable. And then once they had all set up, I just packaged them in a little bit of acetate added a sticker with my business name and put them in a box so that they're all nice and secure and ready to go off to the customer.